this video, we're gonna prep and prime some Turtle Clan Bushies. And here is the Turtle Clan from Rising Sun, the board game. Here's the Turtle Strongholds, that's their clan power. Uh, this guy's the Damio, he's the big leader. These guys are Shintos, and these guys, I believe, are called Bushies. And we're gonna start painting the Turtle Clan. I got these from Jason, aka Jason Always Ready. And I think we're gonna start with these three Bushi right here. So I'm going to start by uh, cleaning these guys with some warm soapy water. I had them soaking here. I'm going to get a toothbrush. Uh, we've played this game a bunch, so there could be like finger grease and all that on these guys. So I want them nice and clean so that the primer will adhere to them. So brushing with warm soapy water, rinsing them off with cold water. Then we're going to let them dry. I got a little towel over on the side that I'm going to set them on. Be sure to have your sink stopper closed when you do this. You don't drop them down the drain. Okay, they are clean, so we need to get them on some uh, fancy paint handles. So, here we go. Fancy paint handles, check. All right, and noob cameraing check so here's the plan we're going to prime these guys with vallejo surface primer black through an airbrush and i'm going to put a little bit of flow improver in there you don't have to but um, i find that i like it, how it goes on with the uh, flow improver and then i'm going to mix in some of this acrylic ink to get a nice gray tone and we're going to prime from kind of a 60 degree angle and then we're going to just take just the white ink and we're going to hit it from 90 degrees so this is the first time I have ever videotaped myself airbrushing. So this will be interesting. I like to start by putting some water through just to make sure I cleaned it out well last time. And I always uh, try to kind of hit a piece of cardboard or anything just to make sure it's flowing nicely. And now I'm just going to take them and I'm going to do a thin layer of this black primer. I'm going to keep the airbrush moving. I'm going to keep the miniature moving. And we're looking for a nice thin coat of black primer i am going to come back and do another even thinner coat after this if you do not have an airbrush you can do all of this with rattle cans just get a black one and a gray one and a white one you can even skip the gray part if you want to I am going over them a second time, and mostly I'm just trying to hit places where um, it's a little bit of plastic still thrown through or it's not opaque, and I'm just kind of lightly giving it another second coat, but you hit most of what you need with the first one on this. Okay, so I've mixed in a bunch of white ink until I got a gray that I liked. I tested on the card, and now I'm going like a 60, 45-ish degree angle so that uh, the black is still showing through. The black is still in the recesses. If you looked at it straight from the bottom, you'd still see completely black. But I'm just trying to start a transition, a light transition here. And we're getting a little bit of gray in there. I don't know if you can see it uh, right there, but it's very noticeable to me in person that the gray is standing out amongst the black. So I'm gonna hit everybody this way and I am gonna do a second coat of this. All right, second coat of gray, just to make sure it is standing out over the black primer. All right, now we're using pure white ink and I'm hitting from a 90 degree angle. So this is just over the top. This is much more noticeable on the camera. And I am going to do two coats of this as well. I did put a little bit of flow improver in with the ink, just uh, to help thin it out a little bit. But uh, the white ink goes through the airbrush really, really, really nice. Here we go, Zenithal Highlight. So uh, 
Again, if you're kind of looking from the bottom, it's definitely all black. And then from the top, it is white. And then uh, I don't know if you guys can see kind of the grayish transition in between those things, but it is apparent to me. So there we go. In the next video, we're going to take this starting kind of contrast that we have here from uh, black to white, and we're going to push it even farther with some underpainting.